what is going on Sagittarius listen you guys I had a freaking disaster with you guys first video I'm going to try to edit it and put it at the end because I don't know what energy is going to come out on this table this time and I'm praying to God it is on the same way because honey <laughs> when I'm trying to tell y'all that y'all was on y'all goddamn this <laughs> I have got to attach that video. So listen, shout out to all my Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video and, you know, showing love and light to Scorpion Reds. Tarot, um, I want to give a shout out to my baby girl, Callie. She went ahead and did us a solid and got us this numerology deck, which we will be um, using for our spirit numbers today. And <clears throat> as another just gift to us, because she knows how much I love Game of Thrones. And I know she loves Game of Thrones too, honey. She got us the Game of Thrones freaking tarot deck. I think that's going to be coming to us like around the 22nd. As well as another Love Oracle deck. Shout out to everyone who has been showing and um, leaving support. Have it be, um, you know, checking out the Amazon wish list. Or just throwing a dollar or two or whatever on a PayPal. Y'all made it possible, especially in regards to this tea leaf reading that, you know, you guys seem to love on the off weeks. You guys showing love and support is what made that possible and what makes this page continue to grow. And I thank you guys so much for all the love and support. So shout out to Callie. And I cannot wait for that Game of Thrones deck to get here. And um, if you want to book um, a personal and private reading, with Scorpion Reds Tarot. Only thing you need to do is click that About tab. All of my links are in there in regards to booking, in regards to connecting with me for the booking. Um, so, um, and as well as my PayPal and my um, Amazon wish list is there. And if you want to book, only thing you need to do is go to that About tab, book then link, okay? So you'll see a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me, all right? Click that, go ahead and book the reading, and then you want to make sure that you link up with me. I have two options here. Um, you can use have a Google Hangouts, which is an easy app to download. After we finish our reading, if you don't want to keep it, you can delete it. Um, and you can just use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com for the connection on um, Google Hangouts. My Instagram link is right under the booking link on the About tab. So if you want to connect with me on Instagram, just go ahead and click that Instagram link and just send me a message, okay? And um, there's also an option in the menu for um, a video recap or private upload. So what that basically means is once you select the type of reading that you want, you have the option to have the whole experience record it and upload it to YouTube so that you can watch it back to be able to, you know, get the message over and over and just watch it over and over again as much as you want. It's a private upload that will be linked up to YouTube and only me and you will have access to that. It's a private upload of your experience and of um, your reading with Scorpion Red Tarot. If you do not want to get on camera for whatever reason or if you are an international uh, person and we don't have the same applications for whatever reason and you just prefer to have a private upload, what you need to do is book and then when you link up with me, depending on the type of reading that you um, selected, just send me the question of what you want to know. Don't tell me the situation surrounding why you're asking the questions because I don't want you to say, I just told you that. So book, then link up with me, send me the message, say, hey, Reds, it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. I booked with you on this day to time. I don't want to get on camera, but this is what I want to know. And then I got you. So and just pay attention within 24 to 48 hours. You will have a private upload to YouTube, visa to that, have an Instagram or um, Google Hangouts. Uh, account and it will be good from there all right so let's get into the energy and again thank you everyone for all the support and if you want to send support to the page the um, Amazon list and PayPal is in the description and in the about tab all right thank you so much Heavenly Father for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius thank you so much for the divine message that you've given us in the first spread we want to try to tap back into that energy and even put a little bit more information on the table um, so that we can have even more insight and thank you again Father God for all of the blessings that you've been bringing into our life Father God please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius please continue to hold us and mold us into the perfect shape and what you are destined 
us and, and, and what is our life purpose. Continue to mold us so that we can reach closer to our life pur purpose and be everything that it is that you have designed us to be in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please give us divine guidance, Father, for May the 15th through the 31st. And thank you again for all your divine and light and your blessings and just giving us peace and happiness throughout this transition in our life, Father God. Thank you again. Please give us guidance for Sagittarius. Let's get it. All right, so I'm going I'm to start this one off like I did the last one. I started it off with this deck for whatever reason. Hold on, I need me some Pepsi. Hold on. Pepsi, hold on, they ain't paying me. Hold on. Hold on, they ain't paying me. Say, no, let me stop. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's just spicy. Ooh, Ooh I love it. Ain't nothing like a pep. What do y'all like? Are y'all... Coca-Cola or y'all Pepsi drinkers. That's like Tupac or Biggie, okay? Bang, 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 bang. Who you who you claim? What set you claim? Pepsi or Coca-Cola? I'm a Pepsi girl. Could you imagine dating somebody and you drink Pepsi, but they only drink Coca-Cola and y'all had to have two different sodas in the freezer? I mean in the refrigerator. That would be so irritating, wouldn't it? Cause I do not drink Coca-Cola. Give me guys for me. Give me guidance for Sagittarius for mid-May. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. Oh, now you don't want to say nothing? Really? The moon. Hmm. I just might be dealing with a Pisces. Some secrets have been revealed. In regards to a Queen of Cups. Magician. Ten of Swords. Four Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Huh! Oh, really? Hmm. Well, ain't this a pickle? This is definitely some different energy from the first spread. Father, please give us some spirit numbers. What a... Please give us some spirit numbers surrounding this energy here. Thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance. What a sign of Sagittarius for mid May. Wow. Shit's falling over. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to attach that as a reading to here because this is totally different energy. <clears throat> okay. What is this? Teaching and learning. Teaching and learning. Music. This came out in reverse. I just heard um, it's time teaching and learning it's time to stop the music and you know what came out your spirit numbers in the other spread was surrender and time out so honestly because I when this came out I heard it I heard stop the music like it's it, it's something about it I feel like this point in your life Sagittarius <clears throat> It's a teaching and learning experience. And I feel like it really is time to, you know, what they say, um, it, it don't stop until the fat lady, until the fat lady stops singing or some shit like that. I feel like the fat lady has stopped singing or something. Like the music has stopped. There's no more fun. There's no more enjoyment. And I feel like it's something that you, <laughs> deep in your core right here, like you know, you know. Like, your energy knows. You know what I'm saying? That this, you know what you have to do. And then this is circulating on your sacral chakras, what you feel. 
what you need to do, and what you feel. In regards to the tune of what beat is being played into your life. Do you feel what I'm saying, uh, Sagittarius? So this is a teaching and learning experience, this situation that you're going through right now with this person. With this person that thinks that they're the magician. And they're going to hold on to you. <laughs> yeah. It's a teaching and learning experience here. And let's get into this reading. So, I feel like you guys might be dealing with a water sign for sure. Um, It could be a Sagittarius man that is dealing with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio woman. Possibly a Pisces. Or, like I said, a Sagittarius woman that might be dealing with... Uh, a Pisces or a water sign man but this woman here is in a place where just emotionally I don't feel like she just has the the, the patience to kind of deal with any more it's it, too much has happened a lot has happened that has affected this woman in her day to day and how she goes about her life with whoever this person, this magician that she's dealing with. This person is dealing with a magician. This is a trickster. This is someone that, you know, very much so knows the power. I mean, you can see this person willing their power right there. This person knows their power. They know uh, the intentions and the, message, and the method behind their magic. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of manipulation uh, dealing with this person. This person knows exactly what they're doing. I feel like this woman feels um, just emotionally not stable when dealing with this person because you don't you don't know how to trust this person because they're always up to some bullshit. And even as good, even though this magician is in the upright, this person is still a trickster. Do you understand? And a lot of shit has came out about this person and the things that they have been manifesting in the background and the things that they've been doing that has came to light and it's still coming to light. And I feel like in regards to this person dealing with this individual, they just feel insecure. They don't, I feel like they feel like Everything is like almost illusion. It's like nothing is what, what it seems with this person. Like every time that you allow this person into your life, it's like they kind of hypnotize you with their charm and their grace and all of this stuff. And, you know, and it's like you fall for it and then all of this bullshit comes out and it's kind of like destroys your world. And I feel like, especially for a Sagittarius woman, it is definitely not like you to be moody clingy insecure you know just that's not you that's not you even like emotionally delusional about a situation like normally like a Sagittarius woman is very much of a go-getter it's just like hey ever we gonna do this or we not or I'm just you know what I'm saying like They'll drop some shit and go on to go move on to something next. They don't got no problem with it because they're fiery. They're feisty. Do you see what I'm saying? They're not so much stuck up on emotions. This person is stuck up on emotions because so much shit has come out that just kind of just rocked their world. And it's like they're so insecure and scared about what the future may hold because they don't know what the fuck this person is up to so it's like i feel like this person may want to leave this person but at the same time they're scared to leave this person because they don't really know what the future might hold and what this person is possibly going to pull up their sleeve and stuff like that and i feel like this person still most definitely loves this 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 idiot <laughs> like this person this person just like screwed their whole world all the way fuck up like really 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 and like I do feel that this is Sagittarius as well manifesting an, an ending like you know because because this is someone that feels betrayed this is someone that feels hurt. This is someone that feels misused and manipulated. Right? Because they held on to something for their life. And they feel like this person tricked them. 
with their charm, with their wit, with promises of a better future, only for them to be just demolished. Like, I feel like everything that they built on or whatever foundation that it was that they are holding on to. And I still feel like Sagittarius is holding on to it because as you can see, the Grim Reaper is looming over you, literally about to physically force you to let it go because it's something that you're still mentally holding on to you know and some of you are possibly trying to manifest better beginnings in this situation but it's just going to end up in you being betrayed and hurt again so but I really don't get it that you know what I'm saying I really don't I really don't think it's like that I feel like this is the person that hurt y'all. This this magician is the person that hurt y'all. And because of all of those secrets. And because of all of the bullshit that came out. And just has you like this just emotionally fucked up. And you just possibly scared to date. And go out there and do something different with your life. Because you scared everybody that you going to come across. This is going to be like that. And you can't allow something that someone did make you insecure and make you damaged goods is this someone that is damaged goods and that's literally allowing their nightmares to come into reality because only thing you're thinking about is somebody's going to try to manipulate me and going to do this and, and this is what my ex did to me blah 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 and it's like that's what you're going to manifest is a whole bunch of these motherfuckers in your life because that's all you thinking about and you so insecure and you so emotionally just like a, a rap. It's just like someone that need to get themselves together. And if you was like this, this is someone that, yeah, even though a lot of shit came out, it made me stronger. You see, this is the high priestess right here. You withdraw, you're following your intuition. This is someone that possibly like studies the moon or I was about to say moon magic or something. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck moon magic is, but I just heard moon magic. But, um, it's like someone that I'm, I'm just here like studying the moon and something about the moon, the moon, understanding their emotions and how the moon affects their emotions and just the energies going around them. This person is very emotionally, uh, you know, mature, grounded, you know, very nurturing and giving and caring and a very loving type of person. But I don't feel like this person just easily gives and then I do isn't she picking a fish up out of that cup I definitely feel like it was a Pisces it's definitely a Pisces that some of you guys were dealing with because I see a fish in that cup I feel like she's taking a look at what is being offered to her to figure out if she even want to invest in it I, this woman is very mature this one needs to get there because they're not allowing their intuition to kind of take hold they're just like fearing these type of individuals so bad that only thing that they're thinking about is just how this person just destroyed the foundation of everything that they had trying to wish and hope for something better you know and it's like you're still trying to hold on to the situation but this person is not offering you nothing this person is not offering nothing and this person that you're dealing with with this five of swords here listen you, you're holding on to something that even God is trying to take away from you. Do you see what I'm saying? And this person is not offering you nothing. I don't even feel like you guys are the same kind of person. I feel like once you realize who and how this... Once you realize how this person is willing to lie, manipulate, and just tell you anything. Anything. Because for you, it's a lose-lose situation. You're not going to lose this battle. It's... It, their whole intentions of, of dealing with you was for them to win at all costs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because a person like this, this is like a, like a robber. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like they don't want to go out and work hard and do whatever it is that they need to survive. They're going to steal it from you. They're going to stalk you. They're going to watch you. They're going to study you. They're going to figure out how you tick what makes your heart feel good and they gonna come around you with all of this manipulation all the words that you want to hear they're gonna dress the part they're gonna look the part they're gonna give you everything that you want and they're gonna rob you blind they're gonna get whatever the fuck they want and then when you find out how they are they don't give a fuck 
They're cutting. They're cold. They're nasty. They're not the person that they presented you to be because they intended for you not to see who they were. This wasn't a game for you to win. This was intended only for them to win. They weren't giving you nothing. And they knew as soon as you would get yourself wrapped up in them that you was going to hold on to this for dear God, possibly to it destroys you. Okay? Even as they willing to wait, it's like you still thinking about this shit. You know? That's what this person intended. That was their masterful plan. Do you understand? So, what you need to understand is this was a teaching and learning situation for you. This person was never offering you nothing they never intended. This was the whole part of the plan. This was the manipulation. This is someone that got you trapped and bound and you holding on to a bout of nothingness where you're never going to win. And this person knows exactly what to do, what to say, to have one foot up on you and ten fingers in your ass. I don't know why I needed to say that. But one foot up on you and ten, and, ten, and, ten, and, ten, and, ten, and ten in your ass or something. Like, for real. It's just like... They going to put like they it's like they got their hand in your ass like the puppet like a puppeteer like you know what I'm saying like you know like lamb chop make you do what they want you to do you feel what I'm saying master magician you a puppet you understand y'all got to be careful about who the fuck y'all be dealing with cuz some of these people are very masterful at what they're doing and they know exactly what the fuck they're doing they know exactly what they're doing and they're not surprised that you're holding on to they know that you were going they knew that you were going to do it they knew it they knew it when they when they came to you that they wasn't on the same level as you but they're gonna come and give you a small token of affection. And they just knew just just let me get my foot in the door. I'm gonna this person go on try to hold on to this shit forever. It's fucked up. Give me guidance. Yeah, I'm I uh okay. It says the candy cane angel. It's time for a treat. It's time for you to treat yourself and stop cheating yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's time for the sweetness and the blessings of your life to finally come through. Like, truly, like, you need to move these kind artists, these backstabbers, these betrayers, these liars, these deceivers, these manipulators. I mean, this is just rampant through this spread. Come on, girl. Come on, Slim. This is just like horrible here. Come on. Mm. It's time for you to treat yourself and be better to yourself, Sagittarius. This was just a teaching and learning experience. It's time this music has stopped. This is a chapter. This is a lesson that is done. It's, it's been its time. You should have learned your lesson. And you hear this song in the background, I don't want to be just a memory. Because I don't want to feel your wings break free. It's like this woman is almost begging to be with someone, you know, that don't want to be with her. I love you like I never ever loved somebody. I'll give you things you didn't even know that you wanted. Don't tell me that it's not enough, that my time is up, you're over us, because I think I might do anything for you if you just let me. Like, come on. That's this one. If you just let me. If you just. Mm -mm. Sometimes we be holding on this shit that even God itself is trying to take from us. Marinate on that. Give us clarity. Give us clarity on this magician. 
despair. This magician is in despair. Give me guidance about this magician, please. They have expectations in this situation here. Guidance. <laughs> Occupation. guidance around this um, magician please mm. all right so this magician is in about a despair right now all right because guess what it says not hiring okay so right now his life is in a rut things ain't going necessarily too good for him all right and so he's ex he's has expectations here for this young lady. He has expectations for this young lady here because he feels like possibly, you know, her occupation is beneficial to him. That is sudden wealth for him because this woman, I feels like I feel like this person is in despair. This woman has a good occupation and he feels like there's some level of expectation there that this woman will work and take care of him and allow this person back in this house. Do you understand what I'm saying? Expectations. And this woman probably expects him to come back too. Like this woman is looking out the window ex expecting this person. You know, this person is in despair with expectations. You see what I'm saying? So this magician feels like they're going through despair at this current moment due to their current situation. But as well, the person that they're trying to manifest this with, this person is going through despair expecting them to come back on their arrival. Because as we can see, this Queen of Cups here. Like I said, it's in despair. Hmm. He knows this person works hard. And he knows that this person works hard for him. Okay? That's why this woman is expecting him to come back. And this woman is willing to work hard for him. This situation is sudden wealth for him. Because he'll have a foundation and that's what he's manifesting. This situation brings him certain wealth. It gives him, you know, leverage, security. Give me additional guidance. Give me guidance on this five of five of swords, please. Give me information on this four of pentacles journey. This person is trying to journey to you. Four, four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and Five of Swords. Please clarify this, please. This person is trying to pack their stuff up and move back to this house. Oh, and they want to offer marriage. This time they're offering marriage. Wealthy man. Because they feel like they will be wealthy. They will be in a better situation with you, with you in this situation. That it's better. It's more financially stable. That this home is a more stable home environment. And this situation brings them better wealth. They're going to present their self as the mature man. Okay. And. But however, there still seems to be the community there. Hmm. Clarify the community, please. Clarify the community. Hmm. Mature woman message. Alright, so listen. Hmm. Like I said, this magician is up to no good. This magician is up to no good, you guys. This person feels like they're in about a despair. And they know that you're expecting them to come back and that you'll work hard for this situation. 
this situation in this home environment brings them a more wealthy and stable environment and they know that you would do whatever to work hard for because they left you in despair okay they left you in a place where you were insecure they left you in a place where you are still clinging on to this magician okay regardless of the secrets that came out i feel like the secrets that came out make you want to cling to them more that's what they think that's what they're you know conjuring this person is trying to journey back home because right now y'all are not living with each other because like i said there was a betrayal someone was backstabbed and betrayed and even though people are still holding on to this situation even though death is looming over it that <laughs> there's still someone willing and, and that wants to win and that and is win <laughs> They're still holding on and then and, and they're still trying everything that they can to get what it is that they're trying to achieve throughout this whole bottom manipulation. And right now they want to journey home. And this time when they journey home, the manipulation is offering marriage this time. So maybe before that they won't offer in commitment. But if someone comes around offering marriage this time, be very careful. Because the only reason why they're coming back, because it seems like it's that it's a more solid home environment for them than where they're currently at right now. And that's why Spirit is telling you to treat yourself. Because a lot of this shit that you are dealing with right here, you could be manifesting this negative energy and this negative type of individual. This type of individual, you are manifesting them to you because you're living in your fears. And you're not living in reality. It's just like someone... Settling to stay in. It's just like someone just constantly, constantly reliving these tower moments and just not learning what they need to learn from it so that they can move on, you know. Stand in this bout of insecurity, stand in this bout of unhappiness, stand in this bout of just emotional like this is someone that is emotionally burnt out but yet still keep feet in the wound you know what i'm saying it's like you almost got used to it hurting like a cutter you know like you, you like you 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 got so used to this pain to the point where it almost feels good now and i'm saying it because this this ten of swords right here is, is is still present, and it's like even though you being carried, the the situation is being carried away, and yet this person is still working against the energy of you trying to move on, because this person is is is, is mixing you up, and it's, I feel like you allowing them, you allowing them, and it's time for you to treat yourself. Don't let this person come back and try to journey home back to you. Just because you have a more stable environment and try to trick you and make you feel like they really want to be with you. This person just wants to be a wealthy man without doing the work. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that wants to acquire wealth with doing minimal work to achieve it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they feel like they'll do that by offering this connection to you. This is like someone that is inheriting wealth through marriage. Do you get what I'm saying? Come on. It's like, yeah, I'm going to trick this person into, even though I betrayed them and I did all this shit, I know they still holding on to me and shit. I ain't had to, I, look, I ain't had to give them nothing before, so I ain't about to give them nothing now. The only thing I'm going to do is marry their motherfucking ass and I'm going to get away with all the same shit I was getting away before. Only thing different is stupid motherfucker married me. Like, that's basically it. It's like, I'm still going to sit around and do nothing and, and, and become their worst fucking nightmare. Like, come on. They're going to try to present themselves to you like they've matured, like they've grown up. But listen, they still got other shit that they're doing out in the community. Okay? They still got other shit that they're doing out in the, in the, in the community with a mature woman. With a woman that might be older than you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you probably going to end up getting messages about this shit. And this is a message to you about this shit now, so just be careful. Y'all be careful now. Some motherfuckers is, this is a teaching and learning lesson. 
Because like I said, the music has ended. It's like, it's over. The song has ended. The fat lady has sung, you know? But it's like, it's still someone allowing themselves to be manipulated. Because they know that you're still holding on to them. They made it that way. The chariot in reverse. Like I said, it's just like your life and the expectations that you have for what you want in your world. And how you want things to move forward. It's not moving forward because, number one, you're sitting back fearing and expecting the worst. You're staying in a place of insecurity. You're letting yourself be manipulated by a master fucking manipulator and con artist. You're not really healing and trying to stop reliving and thinking about this betrayal. And your way of dealing with that is by still holding on to some shit that has no value to you with someone that's not offering you shit. And it's, and it's like you're not even happy in this situation. You're not happy in this situation. It's like your life is not going where you want it to go with this with this chariot in reverse. And you're not happy about it. But yet it's like you're still living in your worst fears mentally. And you're manifesting a fucking idiot that's just going to come back and fuck you over again. So this that's why I'm trying to tell you like this is a teaching and learning lesson. And I am going to I have to attach that other video because this other person is it's not here this must be a different group of Sagittarius because the people that was in that other group they've cut this motherfucker off like they were almost laughing like it was so oh my god we were laughing so hard uh, this person is like fuck you bitch <laughs> two totally different energies two totally different energies the four swords in the reverse you need to get your mind together and like really block this person out and finish your healing. And it's time to treat yourself, not cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Don't let this motherfucker back into your home. This person is a manipulator and just knows what to say and what to do to finesse you. What is this? Page of Wands. I need you to like search a little bit deeper in regards to your life purpose and what you want your future to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if you really, if you really search and try to figure out where it is or what you want your life to be, the world will give it to you and you'll get more information and you'll get more messages back about new beginnings and, you know, passionate, loving advances in your, in your life. You understand? Something that's going to last, something that's going to stick. So, you know... Once you get your mind together and not and you gotta understand this and this this is somebody that you see this person's in this tub, it's like they're having a spiritual back, but you got one foot in and one foot out of the motherfucker tub. That's your problem, and that's the thing that you gotta understand. If you gonna let this shit go, let this shit go. Take your other shoe off, put your whole body in this shit, go through the experience of cleansing, healing, and get the fuck up out the tub and and, and, and wash yourself off and let's get out here and get it. You understand? Once you do that, then you will have messages of new beginnings and stuff like that. But you have to like really deep, deep, dig. Uh, you have to dig deep inside and really know for sure exactly who you are, where you want your life to go before you think that you're just going to receive messages that things are going to be different. Because at the end of the day, you're still suffering from this heartbreak. You're still nursing this heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? You're still living in it, and you and you're still and some of you guys. It's, I mean, this is basically telling me y'all are still engaging in a third party situation. You're still engaging. You're still entertaining this. This person, and I told you, this person is still manipulating you, and this person knows that you're still holding on. Here goes that magician in reverse. This is a wicked motherfucker. This person knows exactly what they do. And they know that they got you in their goddamn trap. The Knight of Cups. Right? They're very chivalrous. They're very charming. They're very loving and intensive when they want to be. They could be, uh, like I said, it's possibly a Pisces. But 
because I'm getting Pisces energy big time up here because of that fish in that cup and in the moon. But it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is all of that. Oh, there go the King of Cups. There go King Fish. This person, this person. Listen, this is their trick. This is this is their thing. Okay, to use their charm, their wit. Their aggressiveness. This is someone that is aggressive. This is someone that's not backing down. This is someone that is like almost trying to force their love on you to kind of get you entangled into their shit. And then it's like once they got you, it's like, you know, <laughs> king of the cups, the fish is most dead. Look, Pisces all over that shit. That's all you see is fish. I don't see a Scorpio or, or crab nowhere on this damn shit. And this person don't... It, it's like... This person... Their whole thing is... It's like... Okay? They want to. They want as many as they can possibly have to make them emotionally fulfilled. They don't give a fuck about who they hurting. They don't give a shit. They don't tell you whatever the fuck they want to get away with they want. And they know that they're using their powers for bad. They're going to rush in, come in hard. And then once they rush in and come in hard, they got you. Then they're going to close and wall your ass out. And have your ass fiending for all of that sensual, emotional, loving, touching, caring bullshit that they gave you at first. Honey. Then, as soon as they get you all open... They're going to be stone cold cold with their face and wall you out. And you're going to be like, well, where the fuck was this person that was like this? That was being all aggressive. That was showing up at my job every day, bringing me flowers and doing all this shit. Honey, that shit changes so quick, don't it? Huh. Sagittarius is having strength. They're trying to deal with this situation. The Six of Swords. They're trying to get... Their mind off of it and they're trying to move away from it because it's a burden that they've been carrying for a long time. And I feel like they are tired of it. And the Ten of Coins, like, I feel like the Sagittarius is possibly moving. Possibly moving. And, and they, they know it's just a bad investment. Dealing with this person is a bad investment for their home environment. So I don't really think that they're going to allow this person to get in their home. And I honestly feel like by the time this person even gets a wild hair up their ass and thinking that they want to come to Sagittarius with this third party bullshit. But no, I still think, I, I honestly think that some of y'all, some of y'all said this Sagittarius, y'all still fucking with this motherfucker. Y'all are still actively and current, currently fucking this person. Y'all are still with this person right now. And that's why that strength card is out there. You trying to resist the temptation because this person just got you. This person, that magician, like this person got you. But you got to understand that this is a magician. Like this person is just telling you whatever the fuck. It's really like, I'm sorry, but it's really sad. <sighs> Let me hurry the fuck up. I don't like this energy. I like the other energy. I should have never seen the core. But it was too many interruptions. I gotta try to edit that video. Give me guidance and love. Yeah. Listen. Sagittarius, you feel abandoned by this person. You were unawakened about this shit. And I mean, it just. And you're still looking for recognition. It's just like, I feel like. Why are you still looking for recognition by somebody that abandoned you? Y'all have to explain this to me, Sagittarius. Y'all are so better than this. Come on now. Stop settling for this situation. Why? Because y'all got kids. Why? Because you know this person since y'all were kids. Why? You don't see this person. It's has a mask on you know this look beyond the mask stop settling put a barrier up with this person you gotta have strength and put a barrier up listen a lot of shit happened this past winter did it not did it not enough shit have happened this past winter where you should already have that barrier up yes 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 Enough shit happened over the winter where that barrier should be up. You know that this is some bullshit. This person abandoned you. Yes? Yes? 
right? You still acting like you unawakened, yes? Because you still operating and you still participating in a third party, yes? And don't matter what you think, you think you know. Look at what's on the table. Unawakened, yes? Why are you still, why? We're trying to some type of competition or something? Yes? You better wake up. That's how people get AIDS. And this is the thing I want y'all. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can feel how y'all want. This is how people get AIDS. This person have an unprotected sex with you. You think this person ain't having unprotected sex with the other person? With you? Uh, with the other person? Yes. Listen. I'm telling y'all the harsh truths that y'all don't want to hear. But you need to hear it. This is a teaching and learning experience. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all better wake the fuck up. What you looking for recognition for? Why? For someone who got another... Somebody else? For what? Let me keep going, Jesus. Careful this spread for me. All right, that's the four cups. Okay, I'm okay. All right, all right. So listen, right now y'all not interested. Okay, whatever options or whatever is bullshit that they're offering with their old. I'm not gonna go there. Whatever they're offering, you're not interested in, and you're thinking about rejecting the offer. You've been caught and manipulated by this person like this before. You got your guard up. You've already been finessed by this finesse queen, this finesse king. You done did it before. And you ain't doing it no more, okay? So this is a man that's possibly dealing with a Sagittarius woman who this woman's done finessed. And <laughs> listen, he knows her tricks. He not doing it, all right? The Empress in reverse. I feel like you need to clean up your environment. You need to clean up your environment. Your home environment might have a lot of clutter. It might have a lot of junk around it in regards to a lot of old shit in the past. And you need to clean up your environment so that you can bring in new blessings into your life. This person that ab this person that abandoned you, you need to clean up that environment because it's too much clutter. It's too much shit. It's too much of that person's energy still floating around in your house, and you're wondering why you're feeling so emotional the way that you are. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you need to really stop being a fool, and you need to like really get your faith system back. It like it, it's like Someone that, that just feels like they don't believe that things are going to be better. They don't believe that things are going to be okay. Like, they are so stuck in their fears of how they're going to do this without this person or whatever. And this is like, get the fuck over that shit. Look, take control of your life. Get your thoughts together. Okay? You need to, like, really be more aggressive and be more assertive. And be more vocal. And just let people know. Listen. This is how I'm running the show around this bitch. Okay. Who gives a fuck about who watching. Who cares. But they're going to watch you grab your balls. Let them watch it. Okay. Stop. Listen. This person didn't stop for a second to worry about what the fuck you was doing. And how you was living. And what type of disarray. And poverty. And you know. This person left you out in the cold and completely abandoned you. Probably left you with bills while they was off doing this with someone else. And didn't give a fuck about you. So, you need to take more control over your mental state. Okay? Not only just taking control, but demonstrating control. Because this person left you out and abandoned you while they was out getting their dicks up. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is still out there looking around, searching and looking at new booties, the motherfucking... Okay? 
It ain't gonna stop. This person is immature. This person be online looking at you too. And that's the only thing that they can do is look at my ass to kiss. And that's the... That's the energy that you need to have and you need to keep. Okay? You gonna keep having nightmares every goddamn night. Keep thinking over and over and over again about who this person is sleeping around and fucking. If he over there fucking her. If, he, if she's over there fucking him. You gonna continue to let this be your whole fucking life? You gonna let this plague your whole life? Just cause you scared to move on to something better in the future? I've never in my life seen someone that wants to literally stay there and mourn. And, and, and this person is right behind your back. It's somewhere else. Fuck us, someone. Why are you sitting over there crying and being miserable with nobody? Who's your partner? These tissues. This person off doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And because you won't let something the fuck go. You letting your whole life pass you while you getting fucked. Not even physically. Mentally. And you're doing it to yourself. Look at yourself. Look at what this person is doing. Do this person look like they giving a fuck about you and your emotions? Do they Listen. Do this person look like they give a fuck about you and your emotions? No. What are you doing? Queen of Wands in reverse. There you are. But this whole situation has turned you to a bitch. To a temperamental. Damn near evil. Almost to the point where you're mirroring this person's energy. And you're willing to stoop to this person's level. And go and slut yourself out even to get back at this person for revenge. For having you like this. But you're better than that. You better not dare go out there and go get no bodies fucking around. Trying to go, go round for round with this fuck nigga. Fuck this person. Love yourself and pull your shit up. Pull yourself up. Do you understand what I'm saying Sagittarius? We're not doing this. I'm doing one more spread, then I'm getting up out of here. One more spread. Because I don't even rock with this shit. Y'all better let go. And again, holding on to something that even God itself is trying to take. You really want the Grim Weeper to come and try to snatch this shit out of your environment? Really? It's foolish. You have free will. And understand that we all have free will. Either you going to do it or spirit going to do it. You don't want spirit to do that shit forcefully. Because you see what this person is doing. How many times are you going to keep going through this lesson? That's why I'm, yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, let me hurry up. Was it y'all the last time that y'all energy blew me in, in <sighs> balloon? In the reverse, freedom in the reverse. Stop delaying this. Give me guidance. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. It's time for you to put a new hat on. It's time for a different role in your life. You need to stop playing and free yourself and take this new role in life. I don't even think they got nothing more to say. Violet. It's time for you to be intuitive, spiritual, and self-aware of what's going on in your life. I'm cutting it short. I love y'all. I'm about to cut this to the next video. I'll see y'all next month. Peace. All right, all right, Sagittarius, leaving them delirious. What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, with the remix to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you mid-month May, the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to all my Saggies. What's going on, baby? What is going on? And what is going on with my tripod? Why is my tripod looking kind of retarded? Like it, you know, like it's they ain't got started or something. What is going on here? What's going on here? There we go. There we go, honey. Let's get this straight, honey. Let's get it straight, honey. So we can be great, honey. All right, okay. So anyway, because I ain't about to stop this recording. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Want to give a shout out real quick to my baby girl, Callie. 
um she did us a solid and sent over by the um, Amazon wish list this numerology deck which will be giving us our spirit number today for this reading so shout out to her shout out to everyone my girl Amanda who sent um, some love through the PayPal everyone who's just been sending love and light um, through support of the page um, because of y'all y'all made it possible for those tea leaf readings that we be having because y'all know honey them tea leaf readings be juicy so shout out to everyone who's been supporting the page, who's been sending love, have it be booking private readings, um, sending something. Oh, and then um, Callie also did this a major solid. Not only did she um, order the numerology deck for us, she got a freaking Game of Thrones tarot deck for all my game of thrones lovers listen baby we about to see Cersei, aria john snow everybody on it listen shout out to my baby girl callie okay everybody say what's up to my girl callie callie girl what's up callie the dawn what's up what's going on baby shout out to her if anyone would like to book a personal private reading with per uh with uh with personal private if anyone would like to book a personal private reading with scorpion red tarot you can do so by clicking that about tab what you need to do is book and then link okay book and then link click that booking link that says scorpion red several as simply book me okay then once you book the reading double on back to that uh, youtube page and click that instagram link that's right below the booking link if you don't have an instagram or prefer not to connect with me on instagram for the video chat you can use um google hangouts all right and it's an easy app to download and you just use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so again um just download google hangouts and you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com book then link and then send me a message and just say hey reds i booked with you on this and this and that today and we want to connect there and it's going to be live all right now if you prefer to have a video recap of the reading if you want me to record the whole session and you want a private video of the you know of it uploaded to youtube so you can you know go back and look at it at your own you know time so um you can just, you know, have your own personal copy of the, of the message. There's an uh, add-on, and you can also use that add-on, that video recap it, uh, private upload add-on. If you do not want to get on camera, and if you just want to send me the question or the topic that you want me to pull energy around, and if you do that, and if you prefer to opt out of the video chat and you just want a private upload, make sure that you only send me the question don't tell me the situation surrounding why you're asking the question because I don't want you to say well Reds I just told you that okay so book then link and then if you want the direct private upload and you don't want to get on camera with me send me the message and then I'll send you the video link back there and it will be good now just keep in mind we won't be able to interact back and forth like we would you know if it was a, a live you know interaction so just keep that in mind but that is also an option okay so that is the video add on all right and if like i said if anyone wants to send any love and light to the page and just want to you know send some support and love if these videos resonate um my paypal and my amazon wish list is in the description and it is in sorry and it is in the about tab all right let's get into the reading all right, thank you, Father God, for bringing us here today for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you so much for all of the love and light and the prosperity and abundance that we've been receiving throughout 2019. Father God, please continue to help us, you know, be prosperous and move our feet forward towards our destiny and our life purpose. Father God, please continue to, you know, bring forth happiness and joy and just, you know, overwhelming feeling of just love and peace in our life father god thank you so much for all of the steps that we have been making moving forward into our future please give us guidance for the sign of sagittarius for um mm, about to say september uh for the month of may the 15th through the 31st what the heck happened in september you guys and why am i pulling this deck first all right we must want to go here first so we're gonna go here Give me guidance for Sagittarius. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. Meet month May 15. Give me guidance. 
series from May 15th. Alright, so there's the end of a conflict. That's good. Okay, and you feeling very fulfilled. You eating well, Saggy. Okay. Oh, and you getting over the heart. Okay, come on, Sagittarius. I like it. I like it a lot. I like you a lot, Sagittarius. Sagittarius leaving those delirious. What? Sag? Sag? Huh? Ooh, and you pouring that shit out you out. <laughs> Sag would talk. What? Oh, judgment and reverse. Mmm. Poor Tank. Mmm. Poor Tank. Yeah, um, they ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna be no forgiveness. And I just feel like, yeah, there's no forgiveness in that situation at all. It's no haps. It's no haps at all. Queen of Swords, yeah, y'all cutting. <laughs> okay, come on, Sagittarius. Let's get it to this, honey. Because y'all, y'all, <laughs> listen to me. And, I, and let me just go ahead and pull y'all spirit number two because we just need to figure out what the overall energy is that we need to learn on this spread right here because y'all are not playing around. Especially my saggy women. Oh no, honey. Y'all are not playing around. Y'all are not. Mm-mm. Get my hair in. I'm living my best life because I ain't going back and forth with you, nigga. Okay? I ain't going back and forth with you. I don't even have a desire to even, like, remotely give you any of my energy. You feel, you like, just completely bored with the conflict, bored with the whole situation. Like, like, uh, okay. What does it say? It says surrender, but that shit was in the reverse. <laughs> so, okay, let's see, see. Let's see. Let's see. Give me guidance. Give me. Okay. Time out. Yeah, you need to surrender to the fact that, you know, it's time. Yeah. Someone, it's, it, you know, someone. I feel like someone needs to surrender to the fact that, you know, this whole situation needs to be on like a permanent timeout on everything. Because I just don't feel any type of emotional. There's no type of emotional tie or bond in this situation anymore. I feel that Sagittarius feels very fulfilled and very successful in the fact that they just don't give a fuck about this situation no more. And that they're just surrendering to the release. And I don't feel like they forgive. They don't forget whoever this is that cheated and everything like that. Whoever was the one that cheated, have it be the Sagittarius or the person doing this to the Sagittarius. Whoever was the person on the receiving end of the shit, they're over it. <laughs> they they don't like when I'm trying to tell you that they already put all of the energy into the situation that they were gonna put into it and they ain't got no more to put into it. They they have completely just don't give a fuck and they're happy about the fact that they're not fighting for this shit no more. Like it's not my fight. Like literally, you can you all them other people and all that other whatever you, all of your problems, your drama, your personal situations that don't have nothing to do with me, you're not my problem anymore. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm over here eating well, okay? I surrendered to the fact that this shit needed to listen. Time out, cuz. Mm-mm. No. Hey, big old freak. Hey, big booty, big old freak. Hey, Sage. Sash, like, listen, why am I sitting up here tripping over some heartbreak and everything like that? Uh-uh, put them swords right on out your heart. That shit ain't on your mind no more, honey. That that healing is just like, you know, it's it like, I feel like it's really done. Like, you really feel emotional, feel fulfilled about the fact that you eating well, that you not, you not fighting and competing and arguing and in the emotional drama physically or mentally like you really really feel very proud of yourself let me give me some let me give me some for my sagis give me some okay listen you over it it's just it's like it's and it's just boring i don't even feel like on an emotional level i, I mean it is not even that yeah, I mean, too much has been done. I feel like maybe on a sexual level that there is still a possible desire 
there but just off of the mere fact that so much has been done and Sagittarius has done so much to get to this point where whatever the hell you're offering is boring, is dry, is confusing, is manipulative, is it is insufficient. It's just like it's like someone coming to give them a, a cup of some spoiled milk or something or like some flat Pepsi. You know, that's just like someone trying to give you a cup of some flat Pepsi. I'm like I don't want this shit. Like, <laughs> ugh, like mm -mm. it's just ugh, ugh, ugh. And, and it's, it, this is also somebody that was drunk in love, cause that's why this person went through all of this shit. Mm hmm. And what I'm trying to tell you that this person went through some shit with this person. This person went through some shit with this person. Probably some stuff that a lot of people don't even know about. About two or three situations that a lot of people don't even know about. And that's why I'm saying they got these nine fulfilled cups and they eat it and they good. Because they, they know everything that they went through. And they were drunk in love. Drunk in love. Why, why, why? I want to sing just for me. No life, something relax and free. Just for me. Hey, uh, 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 just for me. I don't know why I'm just like, I don't know why. When I, <laughs> why would I, I did like, I wanted to go here and just tell you, you know, but I'm just, I don't know. I just wanted to sing. <laughs> I just wanted to sing out like everything right now is just for me. It's just for me. Like, I'm not drunk in love on you no more. However the hell drunk in love go, boo, I don't listen. Whatever. Boom, boom. However that go. All right? I wanted to sing out drunk in love, but I couldn't hear it. I heard just for me. <laughs> okay? Because they are not drunk in love no more off of this bullshit. And everything is just for me. No, like, conditioning, relax, you free. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> However that commercial went on, God. They done got their whole life straightened. Okay? They done got their hair straightened. They done got their head in. They got their nails there, honey. Okay? <laughs> they done surrendered. They say, you know what? I should have did this shit a long time ago. What? Just for me, okay? Just for me. And no, bitch, I don't forget you about shit. Please get your bragged ass on. Because when the karma come and bite you in your ass, bitch, I don't want to be nowhere near you, bitch, okay? All right? So, yeah, I'm straight like that. And you already know Sagittarius be going like that, so I don't even know why you acting surprised. You already know when you get us fucked up, yeah, you getting fucked over. So, like, please back the fuck up and just, like... Please let peace be with you and surrender to the to this fact that I'm putting you on permanent timeout. Okay. Facts. Like shit. Please like go on somewhere. And please, you know, especially if y'all got children, tread lightly. And please come around here and act like you can smell what Sagittarius is cooking for you get cussed the fuck out or everything. Okay. Yeah. So look. The hell? The hell? Listen, and, and you know what? Don't come over here asking me nothing. I don't have to tell you shit. So you can look at me like, uh, she she be lying. I don't have to. I don't. It's, you know what? If lying is me not telling you my business, then let me be a liar. Because I'm not a supplier. Okay? I'm not a supplier to you no more. I don't have you to do no more. I'm not a supplier of giving you any facts or truth or evidence or anything. You do, why are you even in my business? Okay? Because this is somebody also that somebody be in their fucking business. And they looking for some truth from the Sagittarius woman that they not going to motherfucking get. And yes, Sagittarius is cold and she don't give a shit. Okay? Say it with me. She don't give a shit. Hold on. Grab it. A shit. Okay? One more time. She don't give a shit. Ha! Okay, bitch? We don't give it. Okay? We're not a supplier of giving a fuck about you. Okay? Hold on. You need to go somewhere else. You need to go that away. Mm-hmm. We don't give a shit. Ha! Boy! Okay? Please. Peace be with you, my friend. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Don't listen. Take care now. Bye-bye then.
Ace Ventura voice. Like shit. What? I'm not even dealing with Sagittarius. I'm not starting my morning off like this, Sagittarius. Is we going this we listen? We is going savage. Brandy. Savage the first. Okay. <laughs> Put him in a hearse. Brandy savages the first. Put him in a hearse. Hold on. What? I am not dealing with Sagittarius. Tell me what's going on with Saggy in the shadow and the light. Come on now. What is we doing? Oh, the three fates. What comes around? What goes around comes around. And this is the thing. Sagittarius is cutting that motherfucker cord. Because Sagittarius done told you, listen, I done been through this shit with you once, twice, three times the charms. You not going to keep putting me through the same motherfucker bullshit. The bitch, the first time you got there put me through the shit and I let you back, I was stupid. Okay? But guess what? This is the last cycle. Like, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. You see them cutting that cord? You see them cutting that cord? Let me read you this card because I think y'all need to hear this. Because I think, I think, I think, I think, I think Sage needs some empowerment right now. Okay? Come on. Sagittarius. 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 Leaving them hoes Dolores. Leaving them Dolores. Okay? The three fates speak. Here it is again. That situation, that person, that lesson that hit, that you have yet to learn and that you have spent a lifetime learning. It seems you need another cosmic reminder, something that needed to be cleared and mastered. Letting go is the moment very important lesson for you to learn. We are not suggesting forgetting the lesson because where's the wisdom in that? We are suggesting that you move on and learn and actively replace this experience with completely different versions of the same thing. No more repeats. This is the opportunity to try something different and see what magic takes place. No more repeats. This is the opportunity to try something different and see what magic takes place when you vary the approach. You must reconnect with the opportunities you have. Staying attached to old patterns would simply make them come around again, like the like a thread being spun on our wheel. Learn and be released from that part of that pattern that feels like unjust fate. You may have been enjoying your own life's returns lately, wallowing in the same memories, feeling sad, bittersweet. No, um, nostalgic about the good old days whenever they were exactly only you know that but you know what it's it's fine to muse on the past your memories are precious and do need it to be tended to but there's another thing altogether to be filled with regret wishing you done something differently Life is a constant do-over. You get a fresh chance every second you are alive. Stop beating yourself up. You have the opportunity to heal, clear, and to no longer feel sad about the same thing anymore. You can do things differently. You are not a prisoner of how things have always been done. What you have done. Even if you judge to be, even if you judge this to be a mistake, it can be reworked and learned from. That is wisdom. You are are not so alone we all have karmic lessons themes and stories um, that seem to repeat learn from this be aware of what is taking place as a fateful encounter is to master life if you take this approach you'll be richer for learning wise free and able to help others too so that is the divine message throughout all of that chaos of me trying to read that message <laughs> <laughs> interruptions be fumbling in the name in the name so basically what this is it's like you guys surrendering to the fact of just knowing what goes around comes around and if you just continue in the same old patterns you're going to continue to get the same old shit so this is you surrendering to the fact that it's time for something to be cut the hell out 
Something to be put on permanent time out. You done been through this shit once, twice, too many goddamn times with the same fucking person and or the same situation. You know, if you don't have a person in your life, like someone that you're dating, it, this could be a job. This could be some shit you've been going through with some family members. Shit, it could be both. It could be some shit where you needing to cut some goddamn cords with some family members and somebody that you're dealing with. Shit, you know what I'm saying? On everything, you know? It's like just surrendering. Like, I don't have to keep... Going through this same shit over and over and over and over and over and over again with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not <laughs> a hamster wheel. You know? And shit, even the hamster wheel realized at, at the time I need to stop running on this bitch and go get me some water and something to eat before. You're like, come on now. No. Give me guidance in regards to these three faces. And surrender and time out. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. What's this? Okay, so like, you know, right now I feel like this expectation for Sagittarius, I feel like this is a woman that's like waiting and expecting because they've been manifesting and they've been working really, really hard in regards to the changes in their future. Ooh, they've been, ooh, expecting a wealthy man. Come, come, listen to me. Sag listen, I already told y'all I'm not doing y'all today. Listen, my best friend is a damn Sagittarius, and I be having to tell her, bitch, when you be on your goddamn this, I don't have you to do. Because she, when she be on her shit, bitch, she be on her shit. And listen, come on. Shit, I hope that I'm channeling my best friend right now. Come on, girl. We're going to find some um, uh, wealthy man together. Okay? All right? Mama said this, this person's coming in the distance horizons, okay? This is coming very soon. Very soon. All right? And I feel like y'all are trying to overcome a situation of poverty right now. And y'all need a mature man in y'all life. Listen, this is, listen. Ain't nothing wrong with having, listen, if, if, if I'm going through financial struggles right now, what the hell I want to date a broke ass person that's going through the shit I'm going through? I need to date somebody that, you know. I need to date somebody that know how to make money that can help me and motivate me and show me how to get out here and hustle. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is the point of me expecting to hang around and be around the same old bum ass shit? No, I'm manifesting greatness in my life. I'm manifesting a man that got his shit together, that got me, and I got me. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, a motherfucker ain't doing too bad. Like I said, Sagittarius eating. And I feel like that poverty whole thing is it's like... They don't want somebody with just a lack mindset. Because that poverty did come out in the reverse. But I really try not to read these in reverse was like that. But listen. That's what it is. And that's what it's going to be. And that's what Sagittarius expect. Because Sagittarius work too motherfucking hard. And if you anything like the Sagittarius, as I know, they work hard as shit. You motherfucking right. You better um uh, manifest a man of wealth. You better come the fuck on. And you know that that number thirteen it represents the um the Scorpio, the Death card, and the Tarot deck. So yeah, uh, listen, Sagittarius is over. Cut that shit. I done been through it once, twice, three. Uh uh. And it's like you know, this is like Sagittarius realizing I can't date someone based off of potential. Because this was me dating somebody. This was me dating somebody off of potential. Okay? End up going through a whole bunch of bullshit. Okay? End up having to walk away <laughs> with a bad taste in my mouth. With a bad taste in my mouth. Okay? That's dating somebody with potential thinking that you're going to find emotional fulfillment in it. And, and really, I found more emotional fulfillment in walking the fuck away from that potential may have stupid ass motherfucker. No. No. Mm -mm. Listen, motherfuckers better get their mind right. They better manifest greatness. Sagittarius, listen, Saggy. Let me ride with you, Saggy. Because Saggy said this shit is coming very soon. And I look, I had to read the book on this distant horizon. They say, time wise, this means. Within the next week to four weeks. You hear me? So y'all pay attention to the people. Because y'all done cut this cord. Y'all done cut this cord. And not only that. Y'all left that shit to God. 
y'all completely removed from this situation and you letting God deal with them and let, the, let, let God deal with their judgment and their karma. Like you not even, you just cutting them out of your life. You might have cussed them out a little bit, but you ain't, you ain't even giving it all of that. You see what I'm saying? So your manifest, whatever you manifesting is coming very soon, honey. And it's like, I feel like your fear is poverty. Your fear is poverty. And that's why you need a mature man. You need a mature man because I feel like you don't want to struggle no more. And I feel like some of you guys taking the risk that you guys did um, with walking away from this situation. Y'all might be experiencing a slight bout of poverty from time to time. It's like you eating and you emotionally fulfilled. But at the same time, excuse me, you have like some type of financial struggles you know what i'm saying kind of dealing with this let me untie this damn thing hold on y'all y'all have some type of financial struggles and i really do feel like it has to do with your kids i feel like we're taking care of your kids i'm seeing cats and cats and rats What I'm feeling is, I'm feeling like this Sagittarius feel like they live in a bad neighborhood with their children. And I just feel like, and it's not, I don't feel like Sagittarius is in poverty at all. I feel like the environment is impoverished. And I feel like Sagittarius has been manifesting a better life with someone that wants better things in life like they do someone that they're not going to have to motivate to want better you know what i'm saying someone because i feel like maybe the person in the past was just okay with just kind of living like this and it's like yeah in my house we don't live like that the outside of my our, our neighborhood look fucked up but when you walk in our house now our house is is lavish like we good but at the same time, it might possibly be a dangerous neighborhood. And maybe, like Sagittarius, don't feel comfortable with their kids going outside playing in that neighborhood or just whatever. And they want a mature man, someone that's worldly. You know what I'm saying? Someone that is world. What is going? What is just going on today? What is going on today with this reading, you guys? I'm just like really, really, really. It's just the most, the most, the most, the most, the most. My camera, everything. I'm going to scrap this. <laughs>